Almas and Alpacas, this is Livy, and welcome back to another episode of Alpaca Power. Now, today is going to be a, or this week I should say, it's going to be a fun challenge. You know how much I love Overwatch, like you can see me play Overwatch either on streams or in any of these videos right here. Um, but today I'm going to, from an alpaca hat, I'm going to pick three Overwatch characters randomly and I'm going to draw them into alpacas. How I, how I work this out is I put all the characters' names in this alpaca hat. It's an alpaca hat. You've seen me wear this in cons and stuff like that, but... I put three characters on a... I put all the characters on a piece of paper and I'm gonna pick three of them randomly. In case you don't believe there's... Look at all of them. See, look at all of them. There's more than three. So, I'm going to pick three of them randomly. Okay, look away. First one I'm going to do as an alpaca will be... Diva! Oh, that would be cute. Diva! That would be a really cute one. Okay, second character... is going to be... Ooh, Widowmaker. That would be interesting. Widowmaker. Okay, last one. Give me a good character. So far, those ones are good characters, and I have... And the last one I'm picking is... Ooh, this is old. I'm actually scared to look. Oh, the new one! Aurea! Or, or, Oria? No. Oriza. 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 So. Those are all the characters that I'm picking. That I picked randomly. And, um, I'm gonna draw these uh, as alpacas and let's see how I do. Now, for my first alpaca, I'm going to be drawing Diva. Now, this one, I have to say, was kind of the simplest of all the three, but, um, yeah, I have my phone there to look at a picture so I can get all the details as much as I can for D.Va, because I've actually never really have drawn up, um, Overwatch characters before, so this is my first time. I, I never even drawn Tracer, who is also my absolute favorite, but yeah, I enjoy playing as D.Va a lot, and, um, and if you see my top 10 Overwatch characters, you could see that D.Va is involved. Is a part of it. I cannot talk. <laughs> like, you know how it is tough to draw clothes on an alpaca with D.Va. Like, her outfit is so detailed. But I made sure that it's, like, basically the top only and not really the bottom, even though it's basically a jumpsuit. I just thought it would be easier to just do the top. And I thought drawing the gloves were a little bit fun. They just looked like little stumps. And the headpiece was kind of difficult. And even, believe it or not, the bunny symbol on on her outfit. Like, uh, since I always use black outline and it was out like pink. Made it a little bit difficult, but I managed. And I decided to make D.Va blow bubblegum. Because if you notice one of the thingies, I, I don't know, highlights or something like that. Um, there's one that she's laying on top of her mecha blowing bubblegum. And um, and originally I was thinking about drawing her mecha suit with her, but I thought that would be a little bit difficult for um, to make that into an alpaca or to put an alpaca involved with that. And I'm not good at drawing robots, even though I love robots so much. I'm not good at drawing them. I'm still practicing on drawing robots. And you can see sometimes, like while I'm coloring, I still get the pen out because I've noticed that I've missed a little bit of detail. So I want to make sure I get as much in as I can. Coloring her was so much fun. Like, she has all those cute colors. Like, I think of all the um, Overwatch characters, the colors of her outfit are the cutest. Hmm. 
But one thing、um, that kind of got me puzzled a little bit is to what to color her fluff. So I found this、um, light rose colored pencil, and I thought it worked perfectly for Diva. And there we have it, Diva. Now next up we have Widowmaker, who I really don't know much about this character except that she's a French assassin. Um, and she has a lot more detail than Diva, so she was a little bit tougher. But believe it or not, her time wasn't as much as Diva's was, which I actually find not surprising. I thought it took more time than Diva, but I'm not really good at playing with Widowmaker. Cause I've played as Widowmaker like in like the I don't know what they called that, but when they select characters randomly for you to play, and they give me Widowmaker, I am not good with her. I'm not good with um snipers, sniper characters. But one thing, sometimes I do look at Deviant Art fan art of. Of Widowmaker to kind of get a little more idea about the details. As as of this one, I kind of did give her a full outfit. Even、um, I gave her like those stocking things. Like I don't want to call them fishnets, but they're stockings. I gave her those because I thought that would fit perfectly on an alpaca. But without, like, you know, the boots or anything, and her eyes—that was the one thing that's different than most alpacas. Is I usually color in the eyes black, but her eyes are have this yellow tint to it. So I decided to to just color them in yellow. But the the coloring of the fluff is simple because I just color it blue. Even um. Her face, like most of the, like the face of the alpacas, like usually I color them a cream color, but hers I used a light blue because since she's blue all over. I enjoyed drawing her, and I'm very happy of how she turned out all in the end. Little bit worried about the colors, like what colors to pick for her, but it turned out pretty good. And if I was nerve wracking, if yeah, I can't talk. If if I felt nerve wracking for the colors of of Widowmaker, wait till you see what I did for Oriza. And if you're wondering why I'm drinking, it's coffee. It wasn't really good coffee, but it's coffee. There's Widowmaker. I like her sass. Now, next up, it was the most time-consuming, and that is Oriza. Like I played her once, and I really enjoyed it. As you probably saw in my one-year anniversary Overwatch video. But drawing a robotic, like character, for an alpaca, it was tough, especially since、um, Oriza has like a centaur-type built, and using that for an alpaca. It, I I tried my best, but I think it turned out okay how I drew on it. And I know it it came a lot with drawing and erasing, drawing and erasing, drawing and erasing, but I did what I can for Oriza because I've never, like I said in the beginning, I've never drawn any Overwatch characters before, and. And like I said, drawing robots is one of my weak, weakest points. Like I love robots and anything robotic, but they're just so hard to draw. But I'm still gonna practice. Maybe if I draw like more robots from like cartoons and stuff or, or movies, I I can get better at it and get a better understanding of what they look like. Maybe like the more cartoony robots, since they're probably easier.、Uh, I'm probably gonna bite myself 
for saying that because it's probably not going to be easy, but I'll try the best that I can. I have to say, inking her was kind of fun. Like, with all those different parts and patterns. A racing time! Now let's color her. Now, her coloring, like... I know I said in, uh, for Widowmaker, she was really tough to color in. So was Oriza. And one thing that I put extra for this Oriza alpaca is I gave her pink cheeks. Just to give her that cuteness. And actually, in my personal opinion, this looks more like a chibi Oriza than an alpaca. But, I tried. And it turned out okay. Tell me what you guys think. Is this more of an alpaca Oriza or a chibi Oriza? You tell me. I won't be offended, I promise, as long as you're nice about it. Another thing that I'm not good with drawing is I'm not good with drawing weapons, as in like guns and like all that. So drawing that um, machine gun cannon thing on her arm, that was so difficult. And it was even difficult to color. But I'm happy of how she turned out. enjoyed my work as the um the overwatch characters pick overwatch characters as alpaca sorry i cannot talk today and usually i can't talk at all but tell me in the comment section below which one of these three is your favorite and there's going to be more episodes of alpaca for in the future i'm working on some ex i mean excitements like i don't know i'm just like you know I'm just really excited about this one project that I'm working on for Alpaca Power. But, but anyways, hit that like button, it's very well appreciated, and hop aboard the Alpaca bandwagon and hit that subscribe button, and also hit the bell for notifications. But this was Livy, and this has been Lip Next on Alpaca Power. I'll see you next time, my friends. See ya! Oops, see ya!